everyone. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on using 10 webs 5 for WordPress. Why? Because staying ahead of the latest tools in the AI space is essential for today's software builders. By the end of this video, you'll understand how to use this tool not just for pretty front end development, but for building real functioning websites with real content management, like uploading your content for blogs and so on. 10 Web integrates with WordPress, which has a big following worldwide and powers 43% of the web with thousands of plugins, SEO and user management. And you get access to their e-commerce capabilities and everything you need for production ready sites. Every project we build here today will be instantly launch ready and fully manageable. In fact, here's what we will cover. We'll cover the current state of drag and drop builders, modern vibe coding tools, we we'll move on to building a website with Vibe for WordPress, reviewing the front end, making changes, using WordPress as a back end, version control, and getting a free custom 10 web domain. I'm going to walk you through exactly how it works, why it matters, and what this means for developers, agencies, and anyone building websites. But first, let me explain the actual problem this solves because understanding that is the key to appreciating all these technological advancements. Current state of drag and drop builders. Let's talk about where we are right now in web development. We basically have three categories of tools. We have drag and drop builders, modern vibe coding tools, and traditional software development. Category one. This is an example of a drag and drop tool. You basically drop pre-made components into grids, and these tools have been the standard for fast WordPress development. They are great for spinning up sites fast. However, if you want something very specific, such as unique animation, it might not allow you to do so. Category two. Then we have these new AI powered vibe coding platforms, which have a tendency to be good for front end development. You describe what you want and watch AI build it and tweak it as you go. The limitations might come when you need to figure out how to manage the content once the website is created, like creating new blog posts or even figure out hosting. By backend, I mean handle user management, add a CMS, integrate payment processing, and so on. Then there's building everything from scratch using things like React, Node, custom backends, you name it. This gives maximum flexibility and is great. And of course, I'm a big fan of it. It gives you full control. And having this knowledge on top of using AI tools is where the power lies. Now, 10 webs by for WordPress lies here bringing vibe coding freedom to building any front end that has access to the power of WordPress as a back end. Bridging the gap between quick to build front ends and automatically provisioned back end and CMS, it also allows for custom traditional development, so it has a bit of this too. Hosting, domain, CDN, SSL, backups, and performance optimization included, it also provides a full white label suite for partners and resellers. So for example, it's great for agencies and service providers, WordPress hosts, services as a system and marketplaces. Okay, so now that we understand a little bit about the landscape over these tools, I'm gonna to show you exactly how to set this one up and walk through everything step by step. So let's get started in the same place by clicking on the link in the video description below. Okay, in this part of the tutorial, we're gonna create a new website with AI. So this is essentially how we're going to do it. We're simply going to describe our dream website and the AI will generate it instantly. And of course, give us the option to integrate with WordPress as a backend as well. So for example, let's say I want a coffee shop. So build a website for a coffee shop. Make sure it is trendy and offers manual Bruce, and make sure to call it homebrew okay so we've already assigned a name to our brand and i'm just going to generate now of course however you make this prompt however more precise the better this is just a demo however so i've just gone with a simple prompt let's check it out okay so great it's already building a clean detailed structure for our website this is wonderful because we're going to be able to see how all the pages link together and of course change anything that we don't like so here we go we have our bruise with the header footer and some sections we also have an about us page which again has a header footer and some sections this time our story and meet the team and we have contacts with header footer and some sections 
Now we can add a completely new page as well. This is really easy. You just select add page like so. I'm going to call it merge and I'm just going to proceed. Now this will be generated for me by AI. So once again, we get a header, a footer and some sections. Elevate your coffee ritual and our curated collection. So if you click into the section, you'll get more info about it. So for example, this is the hero section, which has the title of Elevate Your Coffee. And this is the section prompt. So this is actually the prompt that's going to generate that entire section for you. So if you want to change it, you can. This is the section to do it. Or you can enhance it with AI. That is an option too. So great, you can also remove this section completely simply by clicking the trash button here. So there we go. Now our merch page only has one section and that's just going to be our curated collection of merchandise to buy. Wonderful. So that's how you would edit this website structure page. Let's continue. So in order to create this, you will have to sign up. It is for free, so I'm just going to sign up with my Google account. And now we are configuring the hosting. We're installing WordPress as a backend and we're preparing the builder environment. So our builder environment here is going to be on 10 web. So we do get a three day free trial and five AI credits for generating. Okay, and here you will see all the steps that are being made. So great, we get the step by step of what is being built so we can see. So we can see a testimonial carousel showing happy customers is going to be created, a contact page with address, an online merch store with product images and descriptions, social media icons, and of course, so, so much more. And here we go. This is what the AI has generated. Great. Okay, so here we are on 10 web dashboard. Hopefully you are here now too. All you have to do is sign up. It is free, so you don't have to do much. Just sign in and here we are. So this is what it looks like at the moment. Of course, we can edit it. I'm gonna show you how to do that. But for those who have coding experience and would like to see exactly what's been done, you can see so with the code diff. Obviously, at the moment, all the files have been added. So the diff is literally all the files, all the web pages. So here we go, all the web pages like this one. This is the home page, as well as these sections that make it up. Okay, so if we scroll down here all the way where we can find these sections, so we'll pass the components right here, you will see the header section and what makes it up. So our header has a navigation menu and all of this as well so here we go here is the header itself which includes the desktop navigation as well as our logo so there is our logo here in code and here it is in the ui great so if you scroll down here you do see some cards with our brewing artistry they have a nice little effect when you hover over them and then also if you scroll down further you will see things such as our footer, of course the testimonials, which is on a carousel, why choose homebrew, and just a lot on this home page. It looks great. We can also select our brews, and this will give us an overview of our unique blends and techniques, again, mapped out onto cards, as well as some options to visit our shop or book a brewing class. The About Us will have a little bit of About Us that you are free to edit, of course. So let's go back. Okay, so great. So that's an overview of what has been created. I'm just going to show you how to edit things now because there are a few ways to do it. So the first way I'm going to show you is by selecting the Select to Edit. And this means you can interact with elements on your site, such as the logo. So if I click on it here, I can ask for a quick change by typing it in, or I could just choose an image. So I'm going to choose to choose an image here at the moment and simply select an image, which is going to be my homebrew logo. And there we go. Now I would suggest filling this out, such as alternative text for screen readers. Okay. So logo of homebrew coffee and great. So that is now updated. 
Great. You could have also selected the element. So as you can see down here, the image element is selected in blue and then just write something here. So, you know, make it bigger or so on. That is an alternative to asking for a quick change that we saw previously. Wonderful. And if we want to delete the element, you can also do that here. I'm not going to do that on this occasion, but that option exists as well. And this is available for all the elements that, that you are able to select on your site. Great. Let's move on. So another way you can edit is, of course, you can edit individual items like we saw. So for example, if I select this card here, you will see that div has been selected and we get a little blue outline of what element we are working with. So you can change this one individual card if you want, or you can change all the cards. So I'm just going to select this element right here. So this actually is some kind of container that holds all the cards here. And by selecting this element, you will now be able to make edits to all the elements in this one. So all the nested elements. So making sure that is selected. So is selected, you will see the blue outline and you also see div selected in the text input or just above it to the left. I'm going to put, make sure all the cards have pictures that are of a square ratio. Okay. And I'm just going to run that. Great. So now that is doing its thing and adjusting the card images to square shape in our brewing artistry section. So the images that is now done, we can of course preview it. I'm just going to refresh this or you can publish. So if you choose to publish, this will take a while and ta-da, this is the published site. You will now see the images are of a square ratio. We have done it. And this is our unique URL, harmless-boa.10web.cloud. So you can share this at the moment with anyone if you want feedback on your site so far. It's literally this URL that lives on the internet and you can share it with your friends, your colleagues, whoever you want. Great. I love it. So let's go back. So now we did talk about the back end being on WordPress, specifically when we talked about the merge sections. Now there will be a plugin that will automate all this merge setup out of the box so you don't have to do it manually. It has not dropped yet, so keep your eyes peeled. It will mean that you just don't have to do anything manually for these products to be purchasable by end users. But for now, for users who want to use Vive for WordPress for e-commerce, they can do this manually. I'm going to show you where to go. So I'm going to go back to the merge section and I'm just going to click on WordPress right here. So this is our WordPress dashboard and you can think of it as kind of the back end to what we've built. So here you will see a lot of information about your back end and you can control the media that you've uploaded. So if you select media, you will see that logo that we uploaded right here. You will also see all the pages, the appearance you can change from here too. So just like we were doing before in the 10 web UI, you can do so from the WordPress dashboard as well. And then the plugins. So the plugins here, well, we're going to search for a new one because like I said in the intro, there are so, so many to our disposal. And the one that I want to choose today is to help us with e-commerce. So you can simply search for an e-commerce plugin. I'm going to go with this one. As you can see, WooCommerce is here and it has over 7 million active users. So I think it's a good one to use. And let's just select activate and great. There will be WooCommerce automatic full support too coming soon. Now setting up your store is outside of the scope of this tutorial, but if you want to implement this on your site, here is the checklist to do. Just simply go through it, customize your store, add your products, set up payments. So whether you want to take payment by card using the Stripe API or whether you want to use PayPal, that is up to you. And the lovely dashboard will help you also with your orders, your customers. You can give coupons, reports, settings, you name it. So like I said, this is outside the scope of this tutorial because we are assuming you already have some WordPress knowledge. This is more about generating the front ends with AI. So great.
let's continue. Now, one other thing we can do, I've just showed you how to select elements and edit them individually or select elements with nested elements and edit those. But you can also make changes to the entire site. So once again, you do so simply by selecting the item like so, and then you can make the quick change with AI, or you could simply just edit it. So save your AI credits and remove the text you don't like and write it manually. Great. And now to make a theme change to the whole site, the whole one, well, you would simply just go to here, this chat input, make sure no elements are selected and write something as simple as change the theme to use burnt red, not brown, and run it. And now that will essentially plan how to do it. And I do like how it's telling you the actions. It changes the theme color to burnt red throughout my whole site. Wonderful. And once that is done, of course, you can refresh this page or you can publish it and see what it looks like. It is a little bit more of a burnt red color. Okay, so that has been changed. It's just more of the tone that I was going for. Now, another cool thing I want to show you is if you go up here and select view history, you can actually see all the different prompts that you wrote. And the best part is you can restore that version. So you can literally go back. This is great. This is kind of like version control. So if you restore this version, it will show you what that original one looked like. So as you can see here, the images have been restored. They're no longer squares. We're kind of back to what was originally created. Wonderful. And of course, if you want to use this, you just have to go ahead and publish that once more. Now, to connect your domain, of course, if you already have one, you can do that, or you can get a free custom domain. So simply type home brew speciality and search domain. And would you believe it, homebrewspeciality.com is available. And that is free with all 10 web platform plans for the first year, which is pretty amazing there's a bunch free actually so you can really go wild and choose your own i'm not going to do that but it really is that easy i'll just leave that with you right here great okay so i hope you found this tutorial useful please do let me know in the comments below i'd love to hear your feedback and yeah just in general your thoughts or if you think i could have explained something a little bit better thanks so much again and i hope to see you again soon